Ah, to feel the fresh air of existence once again on my lips is truly a wondrous thing. You are too poetic for your own good. Any battle worth fighting is also worth dying. I don't reciprocate that sentiment, but I'll keep it in mind. If you honored the battlefield, you might actually win more often. Yet we both died to the same man. So your ideology falls flat on its face. Gentlemen, why do you need to bicker amongst yourselves? Has your deaths brought you ill will? Cause, did you happen to defeat Joseph Joestar? I should be filled with hatred that I have to reveal the truth of the matter, but being able to think again has made me realize that it's just not worth the time. So is that a yes or a no? I failed to defeat him in the most heinous way possible, being launched outside the Earth's atmosphere and into outer space by a volcano in Joseph Joestar's seven arm. Pardon my rudeness, but that sounds like a defeat fit for a god. Definitely better than what happened to us. Do you want to know what happened to me out in space? Do tell. Did you explode? No. Did you vaporize due to lava? May I explain myself? Sorry for the interruptions. When I was catapulted into the great void, I hardened my skin for protection. But the problem that occurred was I had no way to escape. There wasn't anything I could latch onto or guide myself back to Earth. I stayed motionless until I eventually stopped thinking. That was anticlimactic. I thought there'd be massive explosions and lightning crashing all over the sky. Your expectations were set too high. Higher than the atmosphere? Though I do not mean to laugh. Ha ha ha. I believe that to be hilarious. It's no matter. I am alive once again and I am free to do as I please. Does this mean we will be destroying humanity and claiming this earth as our own? Well, after spending time in space for what seemed to be like eons, I think I'll just relax for a while. Explore the world. See what marvelous things it has in store for me. What? I thought when we were awakened that we were supposed to rid the earth of this human infestation. Listen to Kaz, ACDC. Let him explain his reasons. I'm just confused, that's all. Even when I became the ultimate life form, I still couldn't defeat Joseph Joestar. Does that mean we were doomed to fail from the very start? Can we not overcome the challenge that is humanity? I'd rather spend my time reading books and studying nature than exterminating an entire species. But what if Wamu and I also became ultimate life forms? The Stone of Aja is missing or has been destroyed. I do not know its whereabouts and I don't think it's worth the time. Joseph would still find a way to defeat all of us, by himself if he has to. Then what is our purpose? Make one for yourself. You are pillar men. With the power and knowledge you possess, you are more than capable to commit to your own desires. I will not lead you anymore. If it is as you say, then let it be done. What if I decided to destroy humanity myself? Then you won't live to regret it. On second thought, I believed mankind could live just a bit longer. A wise decision, my friend fellow compatriot. It will be intriguing to see how far humanity has evolved in this new century. Well, if that's all for today, I'm gonna go to what these humans call clubs and see what all the excitement is about. Be safe traveling. There won't be much harm in my way. <laughs> what is it like being the ultimate life form? The greatest blessing a curse could ever hope for. What does it allow you to do? I can turn my hand into a squirrel. By the air I breathe, that is the most spectacular revelation I have ever gazed upon. Huzzah! I guess even a pillar man could be amused by such simple tricks. Is this where the pillar men are meeting up? Go away. Okay. <laughs> What is it like being the ultimate life form? You're Jamaica, man. I don't know why I do it, man. I just sound like a Jamaican, man. There's no reason why Wamu should sound Jamaican whatsoever. Oh, look at me. I'm Wamu. I'm going to terminate the human race. Look at these big muscles. Hurry, cars. We need to get to the chopper before Joseph Joestar runs away. Come on now, cars. Vroom, vroom your ass over here. Come on.